Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, a game which just recently exited early access to a full-blown release. The game is developed by Game Labs, the company behind Ultimate Ad or sorry, Ultimate General uh, Civil War and Ultimate General Gettysburg, as well as Ultimate uh, Admiral Dreadnoughts, which is currently in early access, although not yet on Steam. Uh, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail is what we're going to be playing tonight, and that is on Steam. And that's a game that allows you to play through either an American or British campaign uh, during the Age of Sail, really kind of focused around the American Revolution, but a little bit after that as well. There's a DLC for the Americans that takes you as far as the Barbary Wars against the pirates in North Africa. And we're currently playing the British campaign. I think we're like four or five missions in. Uh, which is sort of loosely based on Horatio Nelson, at least at this stage in his career. Uh, we're a little bit behind. We didn't have a good first couple of missions, and so we haven't been able to, to like seize any really large enemy ships. And so we're still kind of rolling with a 28-gun sixth rate, which really I think should be a fifth rate. But it's basically a, a, basically a very small frigate um, or a large sloop. That's our primary ship, the HMS Blucher. Or, or sorry, Butcher, not Blucher. Uh, we also have the HMS Sean Mac, which is kind of like a sloop, 18 guns here. We've upgraded both of them. Um, and then we have a couple of other ships, two cutters of 12 guns, two merchant ships carrying over a total between them of over, um, what, 600 uh, soldiers. Most of them are uh, fusiliers, but we do have about 100 Marines I just recently purchased. And that's where we are right now. It is uh, May 1780 in the campaign, and we have one more mission before the end of sort of this phase of the campaign. We do have a, sort of a side quest here, smoke over the island, um, but we don't have to do anything with that quite yet. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Santa Cruz, uh, which is uh, the mission is Crossfire. Thursday, 25th of May, 1780. The Spaniards are constructing more fortified battery positions on the banks of the San Juan River. The Admiralty has been ordered to launch a raid on one of these positions. All available regulars have been dispatched to join with your troops. They are eager to take part in this mission and avenge their brothers lost in the jungle. You shall lead the regulars and attack their settlement from the land. We expect the Spaniards to move their forces from the bank to defend the settlement. Then the rest of your ships can safely sail in and land the rest of your forces for the final assault. So we have multiple missions here. We can do a distraction maneuver, which gives us less money and less reputation, follow the orders, or fight the power, which is 3,400 extra money and re one reputation. I don't really know this mission, so I'm just going to do follow the orders. We can take a look at the map here, and it looks like we can deploy up to three ships and two uh, sort of land-based elements. Okay, so we are going to start here with, uh, oh, P35 Flash, thank you very much for the gift subs. Five tier one gift subs, that's very generous of you. Um, who's all gonna get those? Doesn't actually tell me. Oh, here we go. We've got a Marza Wilkie. P. Wintiff 1, King Cobra 1245, Heroic Logic, and Particle New Zealand all getting the gift subs here from a very generous P35 Flash. So thank you very much for the generosity there. Appreciate the support, and uh, I'm sure everybody appreciates the, the gift subs. All right, so we've got two land-based elements, which we're basically going to deploy our two merchant ships in the uh, land-based elements because that's where we're going to get the 600 or so soldiers on the land. Um, and then for our um, for our seaborne ships, we'll include the HMS Butcher, which it's with its 275 crew, the HMS Sean Mac with its 151 crew, and then the Li Li Libra with its 80 crew. So we'll have about 506 sailors on these three ships and 700 soldiers uh, from the three merchant ships. The only ship that'll be unengaged is the Santa Eugenia, which is well under strength. It's at its minimum sailing strength, and so she will not uh, deploy her forces there. All right, so the, the briefing here is the Spaniards are constructing more fortified battery positions on the bank of the San Juan River. The Admiralty has been ordered to launch a raid on one of those positions. All available regulars have been dispatched to join your forces or your troops. They are eager to take part in this mission and avenge their brothers lost in the jungle. 
You shall lead the regulars and attack their settlement from the land. We expect the Spaniards to move their forces from the bank to defend the settlement. Then the rest of your ships can safely sail in and land the rest of your forces in the final assault. Unkang Divible. Thank you very much for the resub there. Four months at Prime. Appreciate the support as well. You call him the be you call him the butcher and expect it not to be a bloodbath? Well, you know. Hey Rainbow, how you doing? Interesting turn. I saw the turn replay for uh, War in the Pacific. There was uh, a lot of submarine activity. Anyway, um, Captain, the Spaniards should have been alerted by now. We immediately need to commence the assault. So it looks like I've got some of my own troops, but I think I've also got some troops that are not on any of my ships here. Okay. Okay. weird it's coming through more on one side than the other anyway let me know if the gameplay audio sounds okay i can lower it a little bit um but if it if it sounds okay above my voice our first target is the settlement here we expect the spaniards to move their forces from the bank to defend their settlement here on the island then once i'm assuming we take that first objective then our ships will sail in and we'll land on this beach and join the attack. Okay. Godspeed, Captain. All right, so we need to capture the settlement up here. We've got some artillery, which is definitely not part of my um, part of my force. So we're gonna get the artillery moving up here. These Marines are not again part of my force. Same for these Marines. All I have is 101 Marines, so I know if they're Marines, they're not part of my force. Jets Marines? Well, these are technically Fusiliers. Goddesses, boys. These Fusiliers... So these four regiments back here are all part of my, um, my, my ship's troops. So the first troops, these first four units that I'm deploying here are all part of sort of the land-based component that you just get given to you for this battle. So I'm going to send them in first because I'd rather kill the troops that I don't carry over battle to battle and aren't assigned to my ships before I start killing my, my actual naval troops. <laughs> Probably shouldn't deploy the artillery quite all the way out here all by on its lonesome. It's a little bit out ahead of the rest of the troops. Got a little bit of congestion on the roadways here. You can see these guys coming up, and they're all kind of marching on top of each other. So it does slow them down a bit. You can see a little bit of congestion down here. Artillery way out ahead of these boys. Oh, shit. Pull back, artillery. So there's some 40 skirmishers here. They did run off at the side of my guns. I've unlimbered my troops as my infantry come up. Oh boy, I advanced my artillery out ahead. Shit. Fire canister at them, boys. All right, you guys charge here. I'm going to bring you guys up on the double quick. Oh no. All right, boys, load your guns up. Pivot. Pivot the guns. Skirmishers, boys. Oh, shit. Now they're charging. There you go. Hit them hard. Now turn the guns around. They actually killed a quarter of the troops with a single volley. I'm assuming that's like canister fire or something. Hey, Marines, how about you don't stop? I thought I told you to charge, not to stop moving. Let's get you going on the double quick. I know it's going to exhaust you, but I need you guys up there. This, the artillery can't take care of things all by themselves. These guns are like, who do we shoot at? They keep running away. Whoa, did these guys just spawn up here? Where did these fusiliers come from? That feels like a bug. <laughs> She's like, oh, they're here. Okay. Not going to complain, but like they weren't there a second ago. All right, Marines, clear the flank. 
Wait, where are these fusiliers coming from? They just like teleported forward. Sunday Colonde attack. All right, I'll start moving my ship troops up. All right, Marines, charge those bastards. There's only 30 of them. Artillery move up. Fusiliers. That's not who I clicked on. Marines move up on the flank. I know we could probably deploy some... I'm not clicking on these guys. What? Or wait, is there a glitch? Do they think they're way back here? But they're... I'm confused. No, it seems like they are there. Kind of confused. All right, Marines are going to chase these Triadadors, which I'm assuming are skirmishers forward here. Keep moving these guys up. Kind of on the roadways-ish. Fusiliers. I'm guessing there's a stronger... Why does it keep assuming that they're back there? I don't... So Marines will keep sweeping and this way they can actually sweep to the to the flank of this town area so hopefully it indi you know they'll they'll root out any any enemy troops down here these Marines meanwhile engaging with the troops to their front they've killed four of them they haven't lost any of their own we can order them to charge but I doubt they'll close the distance here all right so we did discover some enemy regulars we're gonna break these fusiliers off to join the Marines these guys are in pretty decent cover here actually no they're not 20 cover what you guys halt. Hold your position. Bring these fusiliers up to support. These 132 here facing the town. Bring this artillery up into this kind of open space. There's some enemy artillery somewhere. I just saw a cannon round fall short of our marines. Not quite sure where the enemy artillery is. We'll bring jets marines up through the woods here to support on the left of these marines. <laughs> I'm exhausting my marines by chasing these enemy skirmishers through the woods. Let's just sit up here on the flank and guard that flank. It's probably wasting a whole unit, but... We don't engage these boys. Two to one. Better than two to one against these regulars here in the woods. There's these boys coming up. These marines. These fusiliers. All right. Halt. All right, we've got some enemy troops spotted here. These Marines are engaging the regulars. There's cannons probably up on this hill firing down on us. We're losing a bit more than we're given. We've got these Marines. Jets Marines are going to come up over here on the flank and move up onto this... I don't know what the fuck accent is. Um, all right, so we've spotted a bunch more of enemy troops. Our artillery is supporting. Garza's boys come up here to get in front of the, in the artillery. Okay. We're losing so many casualties. Officer Cadet Gabriel... Good dolphin is wounded. I don't think he's in one of our uh, commands, though. All right, we are losing way worse than we're getting on any of these troops. All right, guys, run. Our artillery is the only thing that's kind of evening things out a bit. Charge these regulars. Some enemy skirmishers are shattered somewhere. There's the enemy guns. These guys are probably too tired to actually fight. I 
another officer's wounded. But again, I don't think any of these guys are like actually my soldiers in my units here. These fusiliers want to retreat. Friendly fire. Oh, they're getting hit by a volley from these fusiliers. All right, so we routed these sailors at least. Our own marines were shattered. That's okay. I don't really care about the casualties in the units I don't carry over. May sound callous, but I'm just being honest, guys. Oh, God. Nice volley there from Jets Marines. Looks like it took out about 10 of the regulars in the flank right before, before the Fusiliers charge into them. Might get a second volley in there. It doesn't quite look like it. So why don't you go charge the guns? Oh no, my troops are routing. We'll fire into the regulars then. Now go charge those guys. These marines are pretty, pretty badly shattered. Yeah, death to the cannon fodder. Because who cares about them, right? I don't even know where those enemy skirmishers who were on our right flank went, but they seem to be gone. All right, so we shattered those regulars. Jet, get up there and shatter the artillery before they hurt you too much. You're pretty close in there. So we've now shattered one of the enemy skirmisher units as well as some regulars here. The units engaged Garza's boys here as well as these marines are both parts of our sort of core units here. The fusiliers are going to come up on the flank. Jets marines just captured, or oh, I think they're going to capture these enemy guns. Although they're pretty tired, so that means they probably won't be very efficient in melee combat. They do outnumber the enemy almost three to one. I would think that'll be... It'll give them an advantage. The sailors we drove back are coming up and they're firing into the flank of some of our fusiliers. So we'll just turn the flank. We did drive back some of these militia. Move artillery forward here. You guys gotta do better than that, Jet. Come on, overrun these guys. I know you're exhausted and all that jazz, but you're telling me these guys are going to fight to the death? They've lost 50% casualties. Yes, some of these troops are my crew, my ship's crew. Well, these aren't my crews so far. So far, what I've deployed is four battalions of Marines, which are on my merchant ships. All right, so we shattered the artillery. So they've routed. We'll go ahead and assign 50 of Jet's Marines to take, or I guess all of them, to take these guns over and operate them we haven't actually deployed the sailors yet those will be coming up later in this battle i believe once we take this town or settlement or whatever meanwhile we're slowly pushing these guys back these marines are getting hit a little bit from the flank from across the river so why don't they shoot that way i don't think anyone's hitting them from the other side will come up behind Jets Marines why don't you move into the town I guess get your guns up on the roadway move the fusiliers forward we've lost 46 men in, in Garza's boys why don't you just charge these guys and overrun them you're still pretty, pretty well conditioned Go charge these guys. Turn to face these guys. These sailors over here. Fusiliers go charge. Marines go charge. Fuck it, boys. Everybody go hand to hand. We've got the numbers. Overwhelm them. I don't want to take more casualties. All right, so we did capture these guys. So we'll pull these enemy militia back because they've surrendered. The enemy troops are crossing the river. So we've taken the settlement.
wrecking those militia. Friendly fire for my cannons? Rear flanked? God damn it. Go engage those frickin' skirmishers. My marines are coming across trying to counterattack here. Where are those artillery pieces that I just liberated? Get up there. I could deploy some of these guys in skirmish formation, but I haven't done that. Nice. The artillery just rocked those guys and they routed. There you go. Zephon2000, thanks for the follow. Alright, so routing those militia. Multiple volleys from two different battalions or regiments or whatever the classification of these guys are. So presumably we're going to need to go take these buildings up here. It did say there's going to be sailors coming ashore on this beach here. So I'm guessing there's a battery of guns over here. I'm not sure where else we'll have to advance in this map. Guards just boys and these fusiliers move over this way. These marines guard against the flank. What are they getting hit from? These cannons? It says friendly fire. I'm guessing from these cannons, maybe? They're too close to the enemy? We're driving those marines back. Our ships are approaching. Let's land and join the troops for the final strike. Okay. Sir Butcher, you're arriving here. Come to this beach. I'm guessing there's enemy batteries. Just based on the map, it looks like there's definitely going to be batteries here. And probably here. So we'll see how effectively we can land troops. We may want to come a little bit short there to see what the enemy has in store for us. These Marines have lost about 21 men. These troops on the right flank have lost about 50. Got 106 men firing cannons. Friendly fire from who? I guess the Fusiliers in their rear, maybe? Oh my god. Did you see that cannonball? Just took out like 12 of, the, of our troops. They're in the frickin' open. I guess so are my troops. These guys are behind some cover. But uh, these guys have almost no cover. Garza's boys are holding against the militia on the flank. These fusiliers can go ahead and try and take out these sailors. The butcher is coming up with its its guns. The Sean Mac just came on as well. So we'll call it for it also. I think we've got three ships that are going to be coming in. We'll land them on this beach. So we have to capture up here, I'm guessing. That's the next objective. All right, these enemy militia have been taken. They're back in the rear. Finally, we drove those regulars back. They gave a good account of themselves, though. All right, move these marines into this wood line here. These guys can hit these regulars in the flank from cover or not. Looks like it. Decent cover anyway, like 40%. Move these guys up to the edge of the river here behind this tree. I'm gonna get some fire into these regulars. They look like they're almost behind a wall. We really don't get great KD ratios. I probably could use terrain a little bit better. Okay, bring these fusiliers up. Bring this artillery up, hopefully to where it's in range of this. You can see there's a depot here that's 80% full of ammo, so I'm going to bring both my batteries forward to be a little bit closer to the enemy. Maybe we can knock out these two forward enemy batteries, which are giving us a little bit of grief. Our ships are coming up. 
Let's just drop the crews now. Bring them ashore here. There may not be any batteries here. I'm guessing we would have spotted them by now. So we'll cut the sails. Swing over a little bit to provide some gunfire support. And then bring these troops ashore. Space Powered Tim, thank you for the follow. Crimson Hawks, thank you for the follow. Zephon, I already, I already thanked you. So presumably we can cross these guys at this fort and maybe flank the main enemy position. Cover 42, 37. These guys are in 49. Let's bring these fusiliers up and over the flank. The enemy wants to bring more troops across, I guess. But I'll let them get hit by my artillery. Just love watching those guys get laid out as my guns fire into them. And those regulars are already routed. Drove them back. Fusiliers moving this way. Nelson, you're going to move your troops up around this bastion and then across this ford here. Philippot, you're going to do the same. Nelson is me, by the way. Skinner also. John Mack, you're going to turn. Slow yourself. Bring your troops ashore. And then the Libra, you're going to swing over here at slow speed and also drop your troops. I thought I told the uh, Butcher to cut its sails. Just sit there and block the channel. I'm guessing there's no enemy warships coming. But what do I know? The point and Beaver, you're also coming over here. Shit. These fusiliers getting shot up. So there are quite a few enemy troops over here. Pull back. Double quick. Pull back into these woods, boys. Get out of there. Maybe we can finish off these enemy troops. They're getting shot up. Get into the woods. All right, so we're slowly driving the enemy off in this town, I think, just with our artillery fire at range. God, these Marines are eating a lot of lead. All right. Um... Do I have troops left to do this? The Fusilier is the one unit that probably was in good enough shape. I sent them the wrong way. Nelson is uh, engaging in some hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right, so he wiped out these militia. We are not going to flank him across that ford. We're just going to go straight up the fucking gut. All right. Fusilier's charge. Urza's boys also advance. You're going to charge these regulars, I guess. It's going to show up right in front of you. There's a hundred marines here, so probably this charge may be a bad idea. Although, we did just shatter that regular unit. I think that was the artillery that did it. Garza's boys, I'm going to have you move into cover here on the on the right. Nelson, I thought I ordered you to move over this way. This will bring these fusiliers back. You really want to offer some advice? Um, uh... I don't think any of my warships can get up here to provide gunfire support. I think they're all, they don't have, there's no C for them to use. I would try and, have, I was going to cross here, but it looked like they had quite a few troops over that way. And so we've got our fusiliers across as well. There's a lot of fucking boys this way. I need to close the gap with some of these units before... 
Enemy artillery eats me. The, this marine, this 100 unit marine and 117 unit militia is a little bit concerning. How are they routing? They just engaged them. No, my troops surrendered. Seriously? Take these boys. Get the hell back across the river, boys. Pull back. We'll try again. I would like more troops on guns. I think I'm going to have Nelson's boys get on the guns once they're all down here. Sometimes it feels like units you give orders to just randomly decide they're not going to follow those orders. Alright, so we captured those enemy militia. We'll pull them back with these other captured enemy troops. We at least liberated our boys who surrendered. But good god am I losing a lot of casualties. See, like Nelson, I didn't tell you to stop. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Lapont, you go. Can you man those guns? No. Why can't anybody man these guns? Oh, you only need 50 men. Whatever, I guess these 30 troops can man them. What are they shooting at back there? Right, the enemy guns, for whatever reason, moved closer to the shore, so they're now in range of my musketry, which is just great, because we were able to rout them. Yeah, you can merge units? Okay. Good point, I guess. All right, so we just shattered one of those enemy marine units near the coast. I'm going to move those two units over here. We're going to go ahead and... Like, I didn't tell some of these guys to stop, did I? We'll use the coast here. Maybe you can shoot at these guys from the other side of the creek. All right, Jets and Nelson. Can I merge these guys? No. Oh, my God. They just got flattened. How the hell do I merge units? Whatever. Just cross. Everybody move! On the double. Go charge. You'll outnumber him two to one. I think I disrupted most of the other smaller enemy units. Charge these guys. All right, so we just shattered some enemy regulars. Go get these militia. All right, so the first group of troops are routing. Fuck. Jets, Marines, you guys are wrecked. 
fire a volley into these guys. Just everybody die, because that's apparently what you're going to do anyway. Hey, we drove the rebels back, or the, the marines back. They outnumber me heavily now with all the casualties I've taken. Bring these guns ashore or across. I don't think I told you guys to keep meleeing. How about you just halt and fire volleys into these guys? God, I wish the friendly fire mechanic wasn't so dumb. Like, guys, how about you don't shoot directly into the back of your friendly troops? Exercise a little bit of intelligence, just a thought. to obviously capture the island where I feel like we're heavily outnumbered at this point. Go charge those guns. I can't have them firing into my flank. At least the troops coming forward now are militia. Might stand a better chance of them despite being heavily outnumbered. Fatigue obviously plays a huge role in like how effective your troops are in fighting. The pont is shattered. I'm losing like all of my sailors. I'm gonna have to rebuild my entire fleet because my, of my casualties taken here. That's the dumb thing about like, oh, we're gonna put you like in large land battles with naval troops. Like I get if it's a small little landing party, but not like thousand soldier battles. Orders are orders. I didn't order all of them to fire into each other. Sometimes they just kind of do it. They're just like, oh, they're in front of us. There's a bad guy over there. Let's kill him. How many men do they need to man these guns? You can eventually get enough cargo ships to... I, the problem is I don't have enough money to equip the troops. I can't even maximize the cargo units I have. I think everybody's already come ashore. Everybody's come ashore to die. Right, they at least shattered that enemy battery. That was a good job, boys. Alright, so we're... I think we're holding. Enemy regulars are coming ashore, but they're all kind of bunched up at this one spot, so we've kind of got fire coming in on multiple ends. So I think we've got this thing in our in our favor at the moment. Because they can only bring like 80 guns. They've got two units here, but they're bunched up at this ford. They can only bring like 80 guns to bear. Now, it's possible there's another phase to this battle, and things could go worse. But... Fire boys, pour into them. 
I've been shot. All right, are my cannons firing to any of these guys? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they're like, hey, we can't shoot without, without hurting our own boys. I guess we can bring our guns up here on the flank or canister into them at point blank range. So what's next? It says Contest Island 01. Is there going to be like another phase to like march further inland? Because this is a pretty damn big map. Nope. Battle's over. Victory, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. Our fleet casualties 700 of 1200 men. So we had about 400 survivors. Uh, in our fleet. Um, the army had about 582 men deployed, lost 439. So about 150 survivors. Uh, we didn't lose any guns. That was a rough day. It was a victory, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah. So, Jeremiah Brown was promoted to second lieutenant. Jean Laponte and Martin Beaver, a commander and a midshipman, a commander of one of my ships, lost. Meanwhile, we captured two enemy four-pound guns. Uh, we rescued about 149 of our 78 muskets from our own casualties, 70 of our 38 musket and bayonets, 286 of our 38 sea services. We also captured 331 sea services, and we rescued about 34 of our 78 sea service musket and bayonets. This is going to be a tough one to recover from. Yeah, successful Pyrrhic victory. That, that about sums it up, Like. <laughs> So the HMS Butcher is uh, went from maximum crew to about 133. She seems the least worst for wear. So we've got about 17,000 gold that we can that we can use to replenish our losses. But if we were to max this out, be 4,000 if we go with rookies. You can see we lose one of our two upgrades for the ship. Um, you can see that we go from about 72, 67, 34, 84, 62, 92 down to 50, 50, 20, 50, 40. I mean, that's a pretty tough hit. If we try and use veterans to keep our skills, that's 12 grand of our $17,000 in the bank. So maybe not the best strategy. Um, God, what if we go with reserve, we go with veterans up to the optimal crew size? That's only four grand. And then we, for the next hundred or so, we go with rookies. It doesn't hurt quite as bad from an experience side. It's a little bit cheaper. Saves us like six grand total. So it gets our crew back up to max. The HMS Sean Mack, meanwhile, doesn't have nearly as experienced a crew. Lost all of its officers, too. Did the, the, the butcher lose any officers? No, the butcher's officers, officers survived. The Sean Mack, which is our second best ship, if we were to go to optional, optimal, it would give us two... Oh, God, look at that fall off. I mean, just look. Look at that fall off in quality. These guys, like, suck ass. Oh, my God. So, I mean, I guess we can drop the Libra down to the optimal crew, and that'll save me some crew members. Like, they'll go into a pool, right, that I can use. So that gives me 34 sailors back. I can bring this up to 54, I think, using our reserves. I don't know why it costs me anything. It shouldn't. Maybe they buy they have to buy the weapons. But it looks like we've got four hundred and eighty six of those in the armory, so I don't dismiss some of our remaining army troops. I mean, can we do that? These units are so bled white. Gives me twenty one there. So, oh. 
I mean, I guess still need a new captain. We're going to make a midshipman a captain. What about one of these guys? If I dismiss him, he goes into the reserve, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and buy a new officer, a new midshipman. Meanwhile, our lieutenant who's in the reserve will go into command the ship, which substantially helps the crew's overall quality. Obviously, no officers. They're not very good. Because you need that officer to lead the men. Lead and inspire the men. It is your duty. All right, so we've got the butcher and the Sean Mack rebuilt. No real money to spare, but, but that we do. Um... We had like, I don't have enough weapons. What's the most we can do with weapons? 182. But I don't have enough money for that. If we go to the armory, I can sell some four pounders. Those will probably come with any ships I take, right? Maybe not, but I don't really want to equip any ships with four pounders at this point. Oh shit, I just... Did I just buy those guns? I wanted to sell them. Oops. We did capture two more brass land guns. I guess we can sell those for now. Maybe we'll capture more in future battles. Give me a little bit of extra cash. Let's me upgrade some of these. Soldier units. Although their quality will suck. Have a good one, Lake. So we could do that. Uh, this all is bad. Let's actually wait on that. So let's let's go back in here. And let's see what this... We've got this sort of secondary mission that we can assign ships to. So we're going to assign the Butcher and the Sean Mac. That gives me an 84% chance of success. Smoke over the island. I don't have to fight this. This is just like a side quest. So Crossfire, we got 17,000 money, 6 reputation, 1 career point. We'll go ahead and use some career points on it. I guess crew healing is probably going to be worthwhile. Like get more crew back when you, when you fight a battle. And then we'll go with this secondary mission here. 84% chance of success. We should get them right back because the, the battle will instantly end as we, we move to the next stage because we have no more fights in this part of the campaign. So we'll go ahead and move to the next stage. Smoke over the island. So we took no damage. There were enemy guns that there were enemy ships that we sank, apparently. We didn't do we didn't capture anybody? Our patrols discovered a British officer reported missing two weeks ago from the Clementia, sunk in a night action against the Spanish. He managed to reach an island to call for help. The Admiralty's reassigned this officer to your command. So I guess I got a new commander or a new midshipman. Oh joy. I really would have preferred I mean, I'm glad I didn't lose any troops. Um but I would have liked some gold. Not gonna lie there. Hey plastic gangsta, how you doing? All right, so that's that. Friday, London. From our correspondents in Kingston, Jamaica, in a decisive campaign, our expeditionary force under the command of the Honorable Admiral Clark Gayton won the Battle of Santa Cruz, which allowed our troops to push deep into the Ramas Valley at the heart of the Spanish colony. Surprisingly, the decisive act came from an unlikely source, Horatio Nelson, known as the Lieutenant from HMS Richmond. Under his command, Royal Marines and Army regulars seized crucial bridges while they all died in a feudal butchery, which secured the San Juan River, preventing the arrival of Spanish reinforcements and opening up an avenue for the army under Major General Francis Smith to storm the city. Grateful for the assistance, Colonel MacDonald of the Jamaica Volunteers gifted Horatio Nelson a barrel of amazing French wine, previously in possession of a Spanish commander. Alright, so it looks like we've got four battles here. We've got a naval battle, fireworks, another naval battles, hunters and prey. Serious Deal, which is a side quest. 
and smuggler activity, which is a side quest. So no land battles in this one, as far as I can tell. These all appear to be naval battles. So that's good, at least. I guess I don't have to worry necessarily about up equipping all my marines. Maybe we just keep the cash. Let's take a look. How many, how many ships can we deploy here? Oh, God. Up to five? How many bad guys are there in this battle? Holy shit. And up to five here, too. Good God. All right, so what we probably want... Probably want this crew to be at max. The Libra. So we'll deploy the Libra, the Sean Mac, the San Juan, and then I'm going to assume we may want some naval troops. How many of these use the 78? These guys all use the land pattern 78. So can we dismiss these guys? Or I guess move them to Brazil. No. I don't want to lose their experience, but we're thirty, so we get to ninety-seven. We don't. We only have twenty-four of them, so it gets us to fifty-seven, and they're basically free. So fifty-seven troops, good troops, good experience, it gets us to fifty-seven of them. You know, these guys all have the, well, they have different weapons. Sea Service 38, 78. I mean, we can look for more weapons and storage. Sea Service with sword bayonet. Land pattern 149, which we have in the armory, which is what they're currently equipped with. I'd probably want the um, melee weapon, honestly. A little bit less accurate. Let me go with the Sea Servant Musket and Bayonet. Upgrade those guys to that. That's 38 Musket and Bayonet, which is the same as these guys. Go ahead and dismiss these guys. And then pull the 60 troops from there. Brings us to 117. Again, not quite free, but pretty cheap. Um, if I've got to maximize these guys, 320 troops for five grand. Is it worth it at this stage? Maybe. I mean, I might want them in a boarding action. Although I'm not sure I'll be able to bring them alongside the enemy. Upgrade those crew. Um, I'll just do 250. Because I'm going to need them at some point. I don't want to keep that experience. We'll hold off on upgrading those troops. We're going to move these guys to reserve. We've also got like officers to spare, I think, right? We've got two, two officers now who are... So this is a second lieutenant. What, what is this guy? Barrymore is an officer cadet. So is he the second lieutenant? Not as smart. Better dexterity, better fighting, better eyes, way better willpower, and better endurance. So if we swap this guy out, our troops get substantially better for free. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, uh, the new... It's not new, because it's been in early access for a while, but the new released, like officially final 
uh, Ultimate Admiral game by Game Labs, uh, a game that takes place in the Age of Sail during Nelson's time, specifically sort of late American Revolution, uh, and then it progresses further in the British campaign. Hope you guys did enjoy this stream. We we basically fought a land battle and got ourselves butchered, but uh, that's why you guys gave me the nickname The Butcher, right? Um, not quite a Peric victory. I think, think we're able to recoup our losses a bit using some of these points, but we're not really building our fleet or our force up as much as we probably should be. We'll see how things play out in our next video. Hope you guys did enjoy the return to this series. Uh, and until next time, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.